Yeah, all right guys, so in this episode, I'm gonna be explaining the MVRV. It's an on-chain indicator that historically has been used to time market tops and bottoms in Bitcoin. I've written about this on my LinkedIn, so search blockchain analytics or see the description if you wanna check out more of this type of content. So the MVRV stands for market value, realized value, and it's simply a ratio between the two. Another way of putting it is the market cap of Bitcoin compared to the realized cap. So when you make this comparison, it gives an indication of whether Bitcoin is overvalued or maybe undervalued, and it can help you tell whether we're close to a, a top or a bottom of the market. So you can see this chart, obviously we've got the price of Bitcoin over its full history, and then we've got the MVRV here in the orange line. Now on the X axis across we've obviously got time and on the Y we've basically got the ratio between the market cap and the realized cap. When it's at one they're both matching obviously it can go below one. This will give you a good indication of when there's a bottom of the market historically. It's not always going to be perfect perhaps so don't fully rely on this but historically it's called it pretty well and obviously at the top you can see the tops when the MVRV ratio hits sort of above a four, close to a top. So what is market cap and realized cap? Market cap in terms of Bitcoin is basically when you take the total number of Bitcoins in circulation and then you times it by the current price of Bitcoin and this will give you the market cap. So the realized cap is the value of Bitcoin based on the price when it was last moved and it represents the value or the realized value of all the coins on the network. So let's say that somebody bought two Bitcoins back in 2017 for 10,000 each. That would be a total of $20,000 added on to the realized cap, provided that those Bitcoins have not moved since they were bought. So looking at this chart then, obviously you can see the Bitcoin price at the top and the MVRV here, orange line. Um, so when it's at 1, it's basically when the market cap and the realized cap are equal. When it's below 1, you can see it's coincided with bear markets. And roughly when it's gone above 4, it's coincided with a top in a market. So you can see in 2011, early days, when the ratio hit 7, this coincided with the top in the market. Uh, 2013, it was 5.7 approximately. Um, or 5.2 and 5.7 on this one and in 2017 the ratio got to 4.3 and that coincided obviously with the top in the market current cycle still underway unfinished so yeah we'll see how this one plays out obviously it goes without saying that this is just an indicator you can't solely rely on this to call a top there are other factors obviously that go into determining the price so yeah, that's it, the MVRV. Hope you learned something. Look in the description for more information and link to more sources. Check out my LinkedIn profile where I've written about this. And yeah, I'll see you in the next one. Cheers guys, bye.